Hi everyone, thank you for visiting my channel. My name is Brian and this is my first video in my film series where I'm going to go through the process of film photography. So that's developing your film, printing your pictures and kind of more advanced techniques down the road. And if you have the opportunity to shoot film, I definitely suggest that you do. It's going to improve your photography skills and it's just fun in general. So let's get started. Alright, so our first step is to actually load film into our camera here and I'm just using a Canon AE-1. Uh, SLR. It's a pretty common camera that you can find anywhere. Uh, maybe your parents have one, but you could probably buy one for about a hundred bucks uh, at a cam old camera shop or antique place. And I'm just using uh, Ilford Delta 100. 100 is standing for 100 ASA or ISO in modern terms. Uh, but it's just sensitivity of the film. It's black and white film. Uh, so let's go ahead and load this camera. And obviously if you're thinking about film, you, I would assume you probably have some kind of knowledge of photography already so I'm not going to go over exactly how this camera works but uh, you have your advance here to advance to the next frame you have uh, your shutter release button right here and then you have uh, obviously your lens here and this is just a manual lens that you would have to adjust your aperture ring right here that you would have to spin back and forth uh, A for auto obviously um, and here is what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pull this up just like that and it's going to pop open the back of our camera and this is what's going to allow us to load our film now here you have um, this end where the film's going to go and this little spool here is going to catch the other end so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your film here and you're going to put it in upside down with the little uh, notch here um, going down put it in there and sometimes you have to pull this up a little bit there you go to go in there. All right, so we got that loaded in, and we're just going to pull our film right across. And what we're going to do is, and it might be hard to see on the video, but there's these little notches inside the spool, and we're going to try to stick this film inside that little notch for it to roll around. And I'm struggling with it, but. All right, so that looks like it's in there. And these little holes, these little sprocket holes are gonna go over the little gears right here. But I have it in there, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is kind of manually just spin this spool to tighten up the, the film here. This film's kind of giving me trouble for some reason. And it's pretty good there, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a picture. Well, not take a picture, but at least advance it to make sure that the film does wrap around it and so it's better just to waste one frame to make sure that your film goes on the spool there because sometimes you'll be taking pictures and not realize that your film net was never advanced and you've been taking no pictures at all. So uh, our film's loaded. I'm going to close the back here and this thing's ready to go. Uh, okay so I've taken some pictures I'm ready to develop my film so what I'm going to need for that is a development tank, a spool, my roll of film obviously, and a pair of scissors. Now this part needs to be done in complete darkness. Lock yourself in a dark room or a closet, it doesn't really matter as long as there's not a lot of light available. And this part is very is a hard part of, the, of development, so make sure that you take your time and it's just gonna come with practice. So don't worry if it takes you 15 minutes or 30 minutes, just make sure you get it done right. Okay, so the first step is actually to remember where everything is before you turn off the lights or this will be really hard. But what you're going to do is you're going to get your canister and you're going to take it out of your film out of the canister. And sometimes it does get snagged like that. So it might be easier to kind of pull the film out a little bit and pull it out there. All right, and you can just put your film away or your canister away. You don't need that anymore. And so what you're going to see is, you're going to see, or well, feel, I should say, is your roll of film, and at the end you're going to have the spool that's taped on. Uh, so you're just going to go ahead and cut that off with your pair of scissors, or pull it off in my case, since it wasn't on there very tight. But you're going to get the other end, and this little tongue here that you use to put it in the camera, you're going to use your scissors to cut that tongue off to make sure it's flat. There. So now you have perfectly flat there and on that side too. 
and then you're gonna grab your roll and hopefully you're using a Patterson tank or Patterson wheel. Uh, it works way better than the old steel ones that I used to use back in high school. But you're gonna find these little teeth right here. There's two little teeth and you're gonna stick your film in there like that. And there's, you're gonna push it through. Try not to you really press on the film, but you push it in as long as you feel that it's going onto the reel. And all you're going to do is you're going to crank the reel back and forth like this. And since the film is bent or rolled up, you know, sometimes you've got to stop and kind of straighten it out a little bit. But you're going to roll it up, roll it up. That might help too. And you're going to roll your film until it's like that. Now, uh, make sure it is all on there. There's no uh, kinks or anything like that. It's all smooth around the the reel there. And you're gonna get your development tank. You're gonna stick your reel in there. You're gonna, well, mine has a funnel here. I'm gonna go ahead and close on there. Your tank might be a little different. And actually, now it's safe to turn on the light. But just for precaution, I'm just gonna put the lid on it. And there we go. We're ready for development. So we're finally ready to develop our film. And what I have here is developer, Kodak D76. I have some fixer, which will make the film not sensitive to light anymore. And I have some photo flow, which will prevent those water spots from happening on our film. And most people use stop bath in between the developer and fixer. But to be honest, I haven't seen much of a difference with or without using stop bath. I just rinse it with regular water and it should be fine. So you, you can just stick with these three chemicals, and really not even photo flow. You, for the most part, you just need developer and fixer. Now, with development time, development times are key. So depending on how warm or cool the developer is, the time of development is going to change. Now, for me, it's almost 80 degrees, which is pretty warm for a developer. I mean, it's really warm, but that just means that my uh, development time is going to be really small. Now I'm going to leave a link down in the description onto a website that will help you figure out what your development time is, where you just put in the type of film you're using and the kind of developer and it'll tell you all that uh, information. But I know that my development time is going to be around five minutes, so I'll go ahead and set my time for five, actually I'm going to put it for four minutes and 45 seconds there. And I just have the uh, funnel on, I don't have the cap on, which it's fine without the cap there. So I'm going to get my developer, and I'm going to hit my time there, and I'm going to pour my D76 straight into... Now that I have my developer in my tank, I'm just going to agitate uh, for about one minute, just moving the tank up and down. Uh, this will go for one minute um, when you first pour it in, and then 15 seconds for every minute that you're developing. So that's... 15 seconds, then 45 seconds rest, another 15 seconds of agitating, 45 second rest. Now this is for both developer and fixer. So there I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and pour my developer back into my bottle. And I'm going to put it in the water as a replacement of my stop bath, like I said. Now I skipped along and I did the fixer. Like I said, it's the same process, just pouring it in there. You want to fix for about five minutes. Uh, now I'm watching the film. Uh, to get all those chemicals off, you're going to wash for about five minutes and just replacing the water or taking the water out to get fresh water in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some photo flow in there, about one ounce um, in there. And I'm going to put it under water to let it sit for a minute. And then after that, I'm going to empty out the photo flow and I'm going to rinse it out. You don't want any of those, make sure all the suds are out of the tank there and then I'm just going to throw the film to get the water spots off uh, check the film make sure there is pictures not to waste our time and we're ready to hang our film alright everyone thank you for watching stay tuned for my next video where I'm going to go through the process of printing your negatives also, please do like and subscribe to my channel. That'll help me out a lot. You can also follow me on Instagram at ThroughTheLens810. But until then, see you next time.